We're getting wild here at the Rosemont Gifford Zoo with two of our favorite animals, wild animals that is. Now at the zoo, they do a great job of conserving animals, taking care of them, like Raph, the Omni Leopard that we're hanging out with here. And we're gonna eat some raw meat, which is what he loves. So if you like things well done, this one ain't for you. But we're also celebrating two of the best animals here. So like many great animals that get raised and taken care of, Dan is being released in the wild for some new adventures. And Allison, the new head chef, is here to feed all these beautiful animals. And that includes you at home, it includes me. I've been to some crazy weddings here, awesome corporate parties brew at the zoo, but the food is always outstanding. I mean, I've seen people wear championship belts during an event, and honestly, it was deserved because these are championship cooks right here. So let's get cooking. So Dan, what are we doing? All right, so today we're gonna be making the uh, beef carpaccio. So we take beef tenderloin and uh, slice it thin, get a couple slices going like this, and then what you're gonna wanna do is put it in between a piece of parchment, or uh, I'm sorry, cellophane, plastic wrap. You get it, get your mallet out, and you start to pound it and get it as thin as you can. Just like that. And then it comes right off the, the plastic wrap. When you got how much you want out there, you lay it out onto your plate nice and flat. And it looks like this. So I love how you also, your technique of flipping it to use the flat side get the best cut out of the meat. Get the best cut out of the meat, and that way all the grain is going the right direction and everything is nice and tender. Allison, what are we doing over here? So in addition to being a chef at the zoo, I'm a chicken tender at home. I've got a chicken coop, uh, so I brought some of my eggs in. I'm gonna show you how to separate an egg. We're gonna uh, crack it right on a flat surface, and then you can use two halves of the shell to sort of go back and forth. And you really wanna get all that white away from the yolk. And when it's nice and clean, you can put it in a separate container right like that. Good to go. So Allison, you're making a dish that Raph would love. What are we doing? This is my favorite beef tartare recipe. Mm. I've got some finely chopped uh, tenderloin beef. We're gonna put it right in a bowl. Uh, I've got some uh, red onion or shallot. You can just put a little bit right there. Mm -hmm. uh, nice spicy Dijon mustard. Ooh. And this is all to taste, whatever you like. If you yeah. like a little more or a little less. Um, I always like more. These are chives that were actually grown right here at the zoo. Cool. So we're gonna throw those in there. Some capers for a little salty, pickled yeah. flavor. And then of course, salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna use a spoon, you can use a hand, and just mix it all up together. And then what we do to plate, we've got a plate with a ring mold. This is just a cookie cutter. You can use your hands or a spoon and just kind of form it in there and pack it, pack it best you can. Lift it right on top. I've got these toast points that I grilled off earlier, just a nice sourdough crusty bread. Beautiful. And then uh, I've got some eggs. We've got this, we're gonna put it right on top. Nice raw egg yolk. Mm. And there we go, ready to go. Yes. Dan, talk to me, what are we doing over here? So this is the beef carpaccio. It's, uh, Pretty simple dish, so we already have everything pounded out, and then you're just kind of kind of build a salad the way you like it. So we've got a little bit of arugula. Peppery, yeah. A little peppery, and we're gonna do just some fresh lemon on there, just like that. A Little bit of olive oil, and salt and pepper. We're gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna extra salt on the beef, it's raw, so you gotta get a little bit of seasoning in there. Some pepper as well. And then uh, we like to do a little bit of capers. You can do anything you want on this. You can take it in an Asian direction if you want. I like to keep it kind of uh, Medi yeah, Mediterranean. Mediterranean, I love it. Olives are a nice touch. Some Kalamata olives, some chopped heirloom tomatoes, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and then we're gonna take a little bit of that olive oil, and spread it around. Another squeeze of lemon right on it. Get the acid going. Get the acid going. So that's going to start to cook that meat. So you want to do that as your very last step. Sure. And then just for a little green in the middle, we've got our arugula. And there you have a classic carpaccio. Both these dishes you want to eat within 15 minutes or so of really putting it out there, keeping it fresh, because the acid cooks the meat. Um, let's have a bite of this stuff. Tartar is called my name. So we're going to hit a little bit of Dijon. 
in this beautiful grilled baguette. I could eat that all day, that is incredible. Okay, now the carpaccio because this is like one of the most special day of my life. I have all this fantastic raw meat made by incredible professionals. Call them all the autos, man. Olives do it. Fantastic. Spashcock Funk, keeping it raw with some wild animals.